Hey there, are you interested in developing a travel app or website? Or maybe you have a unique idea to create a booking app, trip planning app, travel guide app, or even travel discounts app? Well, stay with me, because I'll share a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that and save your money. My name is Dennis Babich, and I'm the director of a software development company. In this video, I'll share with you how to test your idea, outplay your competitors, hire the right team, and save your money during the process. All this information comes from the expertise of my agency, successful startups, and top world practices combined into one ultimate system. So, let's get the ball rolling. All right, creating a travel app is absolutely vital. And here is why. The travel app's market is hugely variable, offering a huge room for improvement and innovation. Whenever you are creating a travel app for your audience, you can combine multiply ideas such as booking, travel guide, and even ChatGPT planner to create something truly unique what your users are looking for, like Steve Jobs did with his first iPhone. Okay, let's start by identifying the core components of your travel app. Let's say you want to develop a trip planning app with ChatGPT recommendation algorithm. Then your app will contain elements such as a mobile app for iOS and Android, a web app and the web admin zone. Ok, when we're talking about the mobile app, it will include features such as login, map, trip creation, trip edit, saving trip, social functions and so on. The web platform will have almost identical features to the mobile app, but with expanded functions functionality and more user-friendly interface. The web-based admin zone will provide functionalities such as user management, hotel and locations management, offers and discounts management, analytics and more. Alright, when it comes to developing your software products, it's important to keep in mind that one of the most crucial aspects is an MVP, which stands for Minimum Viable Product. Look, we're talking about your startup here, and the best approach for you in the early stages is to create an MVP. It will help you build your software with just 4 to 5 basic functions and your secret ingredient. That's pretty much all you need at this point. This approach will allow you to move swiftly, save a significant amount of money and resources, and test the market properly. Remember, a basic MVP app that's developed quickly and already has users can easily attract funding from angel investors with a valuation starting from $1 million. That's why building an MVP is absolutely crucial. Now, let's dive into pricing. When it comes to determining the price for your product, there are several factors to take into account, including quality assurance, bug fixing, project management, maintenance and risks. Estimating the cost of developing unique features or even AI, particularly at this stage, can be quite challenging. But don't worry, because I'm here to provide you with pricing information for the basic MVP functionality. Here's a pro tip for you. If an investor contract requires an in-house development team, you will need to allocate a budget based on US or EU rates. However, you always have the option to outsource your software development expenses to Ukraine, which can be a true game changer in terms of value for money. Ukraine is an absolute hidden gem in the realm of software development. Many successful startups such as GitLab, Grammarly and Jubal have already recognized the real value of hiring Ukrainian developers to build top-notch software. Ukrainian developers have excellent English skills, extensive experience in outsourcing development, they have innovative thinking, and they always thinking outside of the box. Also, they have a strong work ethic. All right, the most pressing questions you have right now is probably about which features to include in your MVP and how to prioritize them effectively. And the answer is simple. Follow the right methodology that I'm about to share with you. This comprehensive methodology that I've successfully developed will assist you in identifying the pricing accurately, finding the best execution team, outplaying competitors, achieving product market fit, and saving a significant amount of resources. Moreover, it will shed light on why the app price can range from 20 grand to 70 grand. Get ready! Let's dive in. All right, so the first step is the business plan. And this is where the modified lean canvas comes into play. It's like a business plan on a napkin that uncovers all the hidden aspects 
you need to focus on within just an hour. The order of the process is crucial. It starts with understanding your user groups and their main pain points. What are their struggles? What issues can your service address and make their lives easier? These forms are the core elements of your business. Next, explore your competitors and the solution they offer. Identify their advantages, disadvantages and the strategies that you can adopt. Your goal is to find the space where you can outshine your competitors by creating a unique solution for your specific niche. Now, let's discuss your unique unfair advantage. This is the powerful factor that sets you apart from your rivals. It could be exclusive partnership with hotels, cheap user acquisition channels or a strong brand that drive your sales. Once you've identified your unique age, it's time to target your early adopters. These individuals will be the pioneers who will test your service, discover where they spend their time in line and brainstorm strategies to engage them. Offer them something truly powerful. This could be done by social media, influencers or the timeless power of word of mouth. Also, if you're interested in learning more about Lean Canvas, I've created the full video, link in the description. Remember, don't just think about the present, plan for the future and envision global growth and international expansion of your platform. Having a clear vision for your app's future in 5 or 10 years is crucial for attracting investors and achieving unicorn status. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'm always excited to help you out and I'll personally review each comment. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to stay updated and gain more business insights. Thanks. One of the most crucial steps in creating your startup is achieving product market fit. Believe me, it's a game changer. So how can you offer innovative and disruptive solutions that addresses the pains and gains of your target audience? Well, completing your value proposition table is the key to achieving that. Imagine you have an exciting idea for a trip planning app. Before diving into the development phase, it's important to understand the pains and gains of your users. It could be boring trip planning software with standard places, high trip costs, lack of information about small businesses and secret places, lack of information regarding the season and amount of tourists at that time, unknown information about specific location and so on. Once you've identified all these problems, that's when your app or mobile platform comes into play. You can provide solutions such as an access to small business hotels, interesting places and so on. A feedback system about those businesses which will look like a small social network, a trip planner that have connections to Airbnb, fly ticket service to create for you a truly unique and cheap trip, tourist season, hot zones, functionality. Look. When you prioritize the most significant value for your audience and keep that at the core of everything you do, you're setting up your business for success. Remember, small companies and startups can easily outperform industry leaders by being agile, flexible and focusing on unique and local niches. You don't have to compete with everyone in the market. Instead, concentrate on a specific audience and provide them with the best possible value. Always keep in mind that it's crucial to fall in love with your customers' problems and not your solutions. All right, if your goal is to create an app that can outperform your competitors and satisfy your clients, then it's crucial to do your homework and conduct proper competitor research. Look at the industry giants for inspiration. They mastered the game and you can learn from them by studying their user flows and proven methodologies. Remember, there is no need to reinvent the wheel completely. However, don't limit your research to the big players. Expand your scope and explore travel startups in smaller niches and different countries. You never know what you might discover. There could be a hidden gem that gives you a competitive edge in the market. Trust me, this exploration could be the most beneficial factor in your startup success. On top of that, you can learn which startup ideas were successful and which ideas fails. If you need an assistance or support, feel free to reach out to 
me through any of the contact details listed in the description below. I'm here to help you and I'd be delighted to share my niche knowledge that could significantly impact your startup success. Let's outperform competitors together. Okay, once you thoroughly researched your competitors, identified all your customers' problems and generated a range of solutions, it's time to properly prioritize your software features. You will need to decide what features you must, should, could and won't develop. This methodology will help clarify the essential vision and core path for your project, enabling it to progress smoothly while saving significant amount of time and money. When it comes to creating an MVP for your app, it's important to keep your focus on what matters most to your users. And that's where Story Maps comes into play. With a well-crafted Story Map, you can break down the user requirements and map out the essential features that need to be developed and launched quickly. But hold on, there's more. To ensure maximum satisfaction, it's important to develop separate story maps for each user type. Think of it as providing each user group with their own treasure map, guiding them to the features that are most important to them. By doing this, you can identify the specific needs of each group and prioritize the features accordingly. This way, your MVP will meet their needs and provide the best possible value at this stage. So, the true power of a story map is the ability to help you save money on one hand, while also enabling you to focus on delivering the most value to your audience at the appropriate stage on the other hand. Marketing may seem like a challenge, but in reality, when you understand your customers' problems and can effectively highlight them, it becomes a much simpler task. All right, so the first step is to create a unique and compelling offers that motivate your users to try your platform at least once. It could be something like a discount for a five hotels via your trip planning website, a tempting list of truly unique travel experience offers, or even AI with ChatGPT that can modify a trip via voice chat according to your press setup comments. Simply download the app. Once you have your killer offers in place, it's time to broadcast them. Utilize social networks such as Facebook, Instagram, Google, YouTube, and even TikTok. Find the best network for user acquisition costs by doing tests. Keep in mind that your ads have to be fun and cool. No one likes boring ads without cool hooks. Are you interested in delving deeper into the world of startups and businesses? Do you want to connect with business-minded founders and entrepreneurs where I share tons of insights and host live chats? If so, click the link in the video description and join me on my Telegram channel right now. Alright, let's talk about wireframing. Wireframes are the blueprint of your app, where you create every possible user scenario and case. It helps you uncover all the hidden or unexpected functions. For example, let's say you are in the process of creating your trip planning app. You've covered the basics like user authentication, trip plan and search and filtering functionality. But what about situations where the hotel is not working anymore? Have you incorporated a feature to manage such scenarios? These are types of issues where a wireframe will help you identify potential gaps. Look, once again, the wireframe serves as the foundation for your app's functionality, and it's crucial to make this foundation rock solid. Next, let's delve into the UI design of your app. There are two key aspects to consider. Firstly, the UI design should cater to users of all age groups, so the navigation should be modern, but not way too flashy. Secondly, and most importantly, your UI design should facilitate your users in solving their problems with minimum clicks. Look for inspiration from famous travel systems, booking platforms like Airbnb, and flight booking services like Skyscanner to gain knowledge and ideas. Place a strong accent on simplicity in the flow and highlight design elements that helps users easily navigate towards your platform. Here's a helpful pro tip for you. To generate UI design ideas, explore portfolios on websites like Behance or Dribbble. Search for travel apps and incorporate design elements that catch your attention. And remember what Picasso said, good artists copy, great artists steal. If you found value in these tips, Please show your support by hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel. Your support will boost the visibility of the video in the YouTube algorithm and you don't miss any valuable business videos from me.
Thank you. Now, let's delve into the tech stack. This is one of the most critical aspects when creating a travel app. Therefore, choosing the right tech stack is vital to avoid challenges such as slow user interfaces, non-scalable and non-maintainable cloud infrastructure, high costs, payment and subscription issues, and the risk of your app going offline during traffic spikes. If you're planning to create a travel app, it's essential to select the appropriate tech stack that enables rapid development of your minimum viable product. Flutter or React Native are excellent choices for Swift mobile development. For backend development, Python, Django, Node.js, and Amazon Web Services are perfect options. React, Vue.js and Angular are ideal for crafting web applications with easy. Additionally, leveraging third-party services like Stripe and Braintree for payments processing, Twilio for SMS and SendGrid for emails can expedite your development timeline. Remember, it's crucial to choose the appropriate tech stack for each stage of your software development journey. This starts with a minimum viable product, but also involves planning your future feature set when designing your app architecture. The right tech stack is like receiving a correct diagnosis after a blood test. All right, let's discuss the agile process. One of the most powerful methodologies out there that can significantly speed up your development process. However, did you know that in some situations it can actually slow down your project by up to 30%? For example, imagine you have a team of five developers who understand their roles, communicate effectively and have made significant progress in coding. The product could use simple tools like Trello, Asana, Google Docs and quick zoom meetings. However, as your team expands to 15 or more people, you may face some challenges such as losing your key developers, complex and time-consuming onboarding processes, reduced team productivity, communication issues, missed deadlines, and a decline in code quality and architecture. To avoid these problems, it's important to hire a tech lead to oversee the team and code architecture, find a project manager with tech background, implement Scrum, Sprints, Backlog, and retrospective processes, conduct daily stand-ups to keep everyone updated on pending tasks, utilize advanced tools like Jira to manage tasks and track your team velocity. Choosing the right tools at the appropriate stage can accelerate your progress towards achieving your minimum viable product. However, keep in mind that even the best tools can lead to failure without the necessary knowledge or expertise. Here's a pro tip. Agile methodology can be a valuable asset not only in your software development routine, but also in your daily tasks, businesses, and marketing. It's truly an incredible tool. Collecting user analytics is a crucial practice in the tech industry, allowing you to uncover essential metrics like unique visitors, user behavior, and session frequency. Using powerful tools such as Google Analytics, Session Stack, Firebase, and Mixpanel will enable you to gather valuable data. Similar to athletes who have to regularly make a health assessment to maintain peak performance, your app requires routine checkups to ensure it stays in optimal condition for its users. By continuously monitoring your app's performance and analyzing user feedback, you can identify areas that need improvements to meet the happiness of your users. All right, if you're thinking of creating a travel, web or mobile app, but you're not quite sure where to start and you need some advice on how to start and outplay your competitors, feel free to shoot me a message via Calendly and we can have a 30-minute call. Trust me, I'll be more than happy to share some insider knowledge and expertise with you that could be a real game changer for your startup. So, what you're waiting for? Let's make it happen. See ya!